Alright, back with another episode of Wonderland Custom Adventures. We are going to play a custom adventure using the Wonderland Custom Adventures, of course. Because what else would we use it for? We are going to play Wisp's Frozen Bounce Treasury. Sounds interesting. This level is by Jutomi, uh, and I've not played it yet, so I'm going in completely blind. Let's check it out. Wisp has invited, has invited you to do something in Star's End, but why? Ooh, I don't know. Alright, Wisp, how come you brought me all the way out here in Star's End? Dot dot dot. Well, I figured you could use a break from Saving Worlds and a retire your universe from utter disaster, and so I figured I'd show you a neat idea that contains bounce magic. You mean crimson? Or actually, it's rainbow! Remember that bounce magic is very much like POW, only unlike other magics, it likes to follow you around. Yeah, I know, yeah, because Matt likes uh, using this in some of his levels. Um, right, I'll be careful. Alrighty, I'll be heading back to Startown. Have fun, thanks, Wisp. I'm also notoriously bad at using it. Right. So I guess the idea is here to launch it over there and then use it to destroy the block, I think? Or maybe I'm supposed to launch it out in front of me? I don't know. We'll try a few things. We'll see if... Okay, so that didn't work. I kind of expected that. that. Not very good. Uh, so we have some ice. We have some ice. We have green magic. Let's get to it. Okay. We have ice. We have green magic. No. Save I'm gonna game. follow the uh, convention of saving my game right Are when... You sure? Uh, I start the game just so I can skip that dialogue. What what happens if I go on this ice? Oh, the ice is above me. I can't go on the ice. Okay. So I can't go to the left or right there. I can go to the left or right here, but that's about it. I can grow a plant, but now this thing is in my way. I don't entirely get what to do. Um, in the case of like a barrel that's off to the side and you walk around it, it makes sense, but I can't walk around any obstacle here. Uh, should I try growing a plant? It's not very useful for me. So it's just like an airing another plant and just, you know, goes away after a certain amount of time. Like, obviously the goal is to destroy this block here. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, well, <laughs> I mean, this should be obvious. Like, it's like a first puzzle. Do I launch it off to the side? No, then it gets completely stuck in the wall and glitches out and makes a horrible noise and then goes away. Okay. Uh. What if I go over here and launch it past the wall? I don't know. Oh, it bounces around the ice? It's like a bouncy thing? Interesting. So I can, like, throw it at an angle. Ah, okay, I kind of get it now. So, like, the puzzle is to get it to rebound into this object, then, somehow. So, like, throw it at some wall, get it to rebound off the wall into this square, I think, right? I don't know how the green magic comes into play in all of this. Ah. 
Uh... Oh! Oh! I did it! Save game. Are you sure? Okay, so that's the first thing done. Now I need to do it for the second one. And I imagine it's a similar trick. Yeah! There we go. Save game. Are you sure? Once I figured it out for the first one, it was pretty obvious for the second one. Oh, there's so much more. I hope this is a good haul. My thoughts. Exactly. Alright, so... We have some... Let's use the spy. We have some buttons. We have a yellow cube, a green cube, three... Uh, a yellow, ma yellow magic and the rainbow magic again, and then a blue and pink cube. So basically, they're just we're just going to be using this mechanic in different and interesting ways. Um, so... Maybe the button is a hint that I should aim it at the button. <laughs> that was pretty obviously. I was just kind of testing the waters with that. But thankfully, I saved. I'll save here, because it's game. working. Are you sure? Okay. Ah, okay, I got the um, yellow one that time. I'm not sure save if that game. was the correct way Are to get sure? the yellow one, though, so I'm going to save in a different slot. Because I think I need to get those buttons. Or maybe I need to use the pop magic to do that. Uh, I think I need to use the pop magic to do that, but, um, right, I don't have a good angle that I can shoot the pop magic at, so I need to aim the rainbow magic over here, and then have it somehow make it over to those cubes. Maybe I have to aim it like this. No, not quite. But perhaps I'm on the right track. Huh. Maybe I should try this one on the right first. Maybe aim it like over here so it bounces off this bottom wall. Huh. I get that what you're supposed to do is make it so that you can use the pop magic, right? Because this green magic gets in the way of everything, right? So you can't. That that's a death. Ah, there we go. Finally got the Save green. Game. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's how I progress. But just in case, I will sure? save it in a third slot. So now I can hit this purple button. Now, the problem is, that doesn't really allow me to do much. All things considered. But I imagine I have to do something similar with this blue cube, because it's almost the same. So, like, aim over here. No. Load game. Oh, no, I'm loading for Load the second game. slot. So, like... Ah, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's not how you were supposed to do that. But it works, so... Save game. Oh, right, and I'm pretty sure Are that's you how you sure? progress, so I will save over my first slot. Now I need to get it to hit these purple and blue cubes.
Now, the gates are open. Uh, there is, like, this red magic over here behind this blue cube, so maybe I want to get the blue cube first. Mm, I think I'm on the right trail with that one. I think that I'm... I'm, like, on the right trail. I think I have to Save get the game. blue first. Are you sure? And then use the red magic, move over somewhere else, and have it follow me. I think that's the puzzle here. So, like... You there? No. Load game. But figuring out where to aim it is a bit of a chore. I obviously have to stand here. I think I think that's pretty much obvious at this point. Wow, really? That reached me. Okay. Yeah, there we go. A million of them at once. That's sure to not be dangerous. <laughs> it's kind of fun to do that. Especially with this going. That's just kind of fun to spam them all. I mean, you eventually die, and it becomes a game of whether or not you can, but... Ah, there we go. I got the blue. That was totally unplanned. But okay, we will save again sure? in the second slot. Alright, so now I'm pretty sure about this one. I think you have to get this launch somewhere. Like, somewhere around here, right? And then you have to you have to stand over here so it follows you over here. I think that's the game plan with this one. So I'm gonna go back here, aim that there, right? And then I can just, like, aim that generally this wow well, I, I I hit it everywhere no but thing. the red spear. Let's try that again. So hit it over there so that it goes in that direction. Getting it into this red spear is going to be annoying, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's a game in and of itself. Okay, let's move the red spear somewhere else. Let's put the red spear right in front, so it cannot be missed. And now let's move over here. And it will try and follow me over here. And that's when it will hit the cube. Hopefully. That's what I'm counting on. Yeah, okay. That was probably the easiest one yet, because it actually did have a puzzle element to it. The red timing Safe thing game. made it much easier. Are you sure? So now I've cleared all of them in this room, so let us continue. Wow, well worth it. Lots and lots of gems. And we got to the star! Alright, custom adventure completed. I, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. <laughs> that, I mean, it was a challenge, obviously. Uh, and it, it, I already kind of knew about Rainbow Magic, but this was kind of like a nice introduction to some of the more advanced techniques you could call them. But it was a bit too trial and error for my taste in that there wasn't enough really uh, puzzle element to it. But it still is, you know, um, kind of. It's like a good. It's a good level. Um, it ju I just mainly don't like the magic being used in it. If I did like Rainbow Magic, then I would say that I, I love this level. But 
Uh, I can't say that I'm a huge fan of Rainbow Magic, um, but it's still a good level as is. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's uh, that recording of me trying to figure out how to use Rainbow Magic, and I'll see you in the next video.